everybody welcome back to another episode of the bourbon buds and today we're reviewing an old carter barrel strength bottle uh zach what have you got to say about it? um so this one is their bourbon um they have their american whiskey their bourbon and their rise mm -hmm. um all of their stuff i'm pretty sure is is older mgp juice which is impressive in itself because that's extremely hard to come by as it is mm -hmm. um so the Carters originally started out as in the wine industry. They're known for their blending. So they used to blend wines, I'm pretty sure, and then eventually they got into the whiskey business, and they've done a fantastic job at that. Um, I only own two bottles myself, but any old Carter I've ever tried has been fantastic. Mm. Um, this one in particular doesn't really have any age statements on it. Other than this is the uh, Kentucky Batch 1 release that was mm -hmm. released this year. It was a Kentucky exclusive. Um, there were not very many bottles produced. I can't remember the exact amount. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm not sure how old this is either. But it's probably it's probably older for sure. Because all their stuff is pretty old. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. But let me see. I don't think there's a hash bill on this thing either. No, there's, no, there's not. not. No. Ooh, they, keep, they keep that secret. Now, uh, another thing before we go into the uh, smell and the taste, take a look at the uh, very small batch here. If you all know what small batch is, and we, we did this in a discussion episode, um, it, there's, no real, there's no real definition given to it. So I looked at this today, uh, Zach brought it in, and I was like, ooh, very small batch, that's pretty interesting. So uh, Michter's makes, to bring a comparison, about 20, 20, Barrels, twenty-two. Yeah, they're normal. Yeah. For uh, this, we estimate it's probably less than ten barrels. Like, what'd you say? About seven hundred bottles. Yeah, I mean, for this, for the Kentucky one, it's probably less than ten barrels. Oh boy, that's and that's that is, all a barrel strength, and this is probably older juice. Mm. So, so with that being said, are you ready to try it? Of course. I get a lot of like caramel and cornbread off the nose, like a sweet cornbread. Mm -hmm. You can get some of that corn, uh, excuse me, the uh, caramel, but it's an also a very corn, uh, a corny whiskey, and I, I really like that because there's not really a whole lot of bourbons I've seen that have an over corn no. smell to them. No, the nose is definitely different on that. Mm -hmm. one. Very, very unique, and I really like it actually. I love the finish on that. What do you get on the taste before we go into the finish? Um, I get the really <clears throat> corny, the sweet corny taste, yeah. almost like the cornbread. Um, when it first hits the palate, it's like a sweet cornbread and a little bit of caramel, almost like a caramel corn. Mm -hmm. And then it just goes straight into the finish, and the finish lingers. Mm -hmm. The finish is wonderful. It's very rich. Uh, as much as I like the taste, the finish might be my favorite part mm -hmm. because it stays there. And you get the full effect. Just a good ending. Ooh. Ooh, that's, ooh, that does stay there a while. It does. Ooh, that's, and that's a full finish, too. It is. Ooh, boy, that's good. <laughs> um, so, value. What does this go for on retail? Retail is about $220 to $240, depending on where you buy it. I mean, all their stuff is more expensive. But right. again, everything they have is top-notch. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't mind paying for something that I know is going to be great every single time, even if it's different. And, and, and uh, for being that price, I was expecting it to be a lot more than just 220 to 240 or 250 This is, for something like this, that is pretty, pretty darn affordable, if you ask me. Um, like I said, on the taste, it's a very corny whiskey, but you do get a little bit of that caramel, and that gives it a bit more of a pop to it. Um, and the finish, like Zach said, it lingers. <laughs> it lingers for a while. That's one of the best finishes of any bottles I have mm -hmm. in my collection. So, 
it's oh, it, it, that, that, this is another one that's won uh, my heart over. Um, so, uh, Zach, do you have any final thoughts on this? All right. Well, this has been another episode of the Bourbon Buzz. We hope you've enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell icon so you know when we upload. Comment down below what your experiences with Old Carter are. Uh, let us know if you've ever visited or if you've ever had any of their other products and what you thought of them. And be sure to follow our Instagram link in the description below. Thank you all for watching.